What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we actually have some news again. Uh, Nathan Eovaldi signs with the Rangers on a two year $34 million contract. That includes a third year vesting player option and I believe it's a $2 million buyout if he doesn't get that third option as well as a lot of performance bonuses. I don't know the details of uh, that bonus. However, they have signed him, and uh, yeah, the Rangers had to give up a third round pick since Evaldi is coming off of rejecting a qualifying offer, which they had also already surrendered a second round pick for Jacob DeGrom. I believe this does apply to 2024, so it's really good that they still get a top five pick because uh, they can make it very valuable um, and not have to worry about second and third round. So, Additionally with this, just wanted to pull in some insight from both Jared Sandler and Evan Grant. Jared Sandler notes that uh, this signing adds depth, protection, and ability to the rotation, creates tons of competition and reinforced development from the young guys, and opens up possibilities in the trade market with the fourth or fifth starting pitcher signed for multiple years. I'm curious where he's going with that one. I assume he means trading away, maybe? because they don't need to trade for any more pitching, which is a sentence I never thought I would say watching this team the last, uh, I don't know, five years in particular after the 2015 and 16 runs. I didn't think I'd be saying that, but they really don't. Um, they shouldn't trade away players unless it's a steal. Like if they were gonna go get Sandy Alcantara from the Marlins, he's pretty much untouchable. But if they were going to do that, that would be someone you'd want to give up <laughs> like Jack Leiter type guys for. So very interesting stuff there. And lastly from Evan Grant, um, there was some commentary regarding that they haven't added any bats and the offense is a bit lacking. Um, although I think last year was better. The, the run differential wasn't terrible. And the amount of one run games they lost was quite hi <laughs> they had like one of the worst records all time in one run games so to this point evan grant says they'll be getting a healthy mitch garver back in the lineup and he's got a great bat a lot of power and a full season of josh young they're not new bats but they could improve the offense that wasn't as bad as the team's record and that's really what it comes down to they're they're honestly not bad and it is not even the new year yet it's the end of december but They've added DeGrom, Heaney, Odorizzi, and now Ivaldi, on top of a couple smaller signings, but I would like to see them get an outfielder. Um, see the name down there, Brian Reynolds. I don't think it should be him because that's going to be very expensive. But if you're going to think long term, uh, Texas does have a few outfield prospects that have finally started to get their shot. Um, Leody, Bubba Thompson, and soon the golden boy Evan Carter will be coming up as well as Aaron Zavala. So I don't know if they need to trade for a guy like that, but they should just for the next year or two. I was hoping they'd get like, you know, Benintendi on an opt out or something. And we can get really crazy if you want to add a bat to the lineup. Apparently, the Carlos Correa deal. I'm seeing, like, that might fall through, so you want to get crazy, move Seager to third, get Correa, <laughs> just for, like, two years, because if, if two of his deals fall through, he is not getting another 10-plus year contract. So anyway, getting a little off topic, but this is huge for the Rangers. It basically bumps out Odorizzi to the rotation, or excuse me, bumps him out of the rotation to the bullpen, which is not a bad thing. No slight against Odorizzi, but... You look at the rest of the rotation, you got Jacob DeGrom, Martin Perez, John Gray, Andrew Haney, and now Nathan Eovaldi. So I'd rather start Eovaldi over Odorizzi. Eovaldi had a 387 or 378, I can't remember, last year. Uh, six and three, about 20 starts. So if he stays healthy, we've seen what he can do. 2018 World Series with the Red Sox, he. Came in extra innings, pitched like six innings in relief, and I don't know if he won the MVP, the World Series MVP that year, but that alone should have won it. So 
pretty exciting, not too expensive of a deal, about 17 million a year. So not too shabby. Um, this is the best rotation they've had in some time. So we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm excited. I was waiting for some news. You know, things were kind of drying up after they uh, signed Andrew Haney and all that. But this is exciting. Um, always good to get another experienced pitcher. Like uh, Jared Sandler mentioned, you got a lot of these young guys. They're going to learn from some great pitching. That is for sure. So and I'm just seeing this on my phone now because I have uh, notifications on for certain people on Twitter, and this is Evan Grant just now. Uh, they're going to have to make a roster move to make room for Eovaldi, so there might be reason to finalize another deal sooner rather than later, hinting at a trade perhaps. And he would push the payroll to a staggering $216 million for 2023 which is unheard of for this Rangers team. I mean, my goodness. I don't think they've really eclipsed $200 million ever. So they're coming up on the luxury tax threshold. Very new, very new stuff for the Rangers. So anyway, let me know what y'all think of this. I think it's a good deal. Starting pitching is not cheap anymore. So $17 million for... A guy on the maybe the end of his prime, however you want to put it. His fastball velo has dropped, but he's just 32. So uh, it's worth it for the depth. They gave up the third round draft pick, but they're plenty good on the farm, which is another thing I'm shocked to be saying. So yeah, all in all, pretty good deal. I'm excited to see uh, not only what he does, but the rest of their rotation in 2023. Hoping they get another bat. Sounding like maybe they will trade uh, trade for someone. Oh, and I'm just getting more details here <laughs> as this is happening. Uh, it's actually under this tweet. Let's see if I refresh it, if it just shows up. Here we go. <laughs> details on his contract. Uh, bonuses up to $3 million a year if he hits 160 innings, which he did in 2021. And if he throws 300 total innings from 2023 to 2024... He'll get a twenty million dollar player option with another three million. So the most it can be is across the three years, an average of twenty one million a year. So there you go, some some breaking news, I guess, getting the scoop as I am recording this video. Uh, so I'm gonna end it there. Though. I think that's all I really want to talk about. Once again, let me know your thoughts though. Appreciate y'all watching. We are in for some good baseball in 2023. So that being said, I will talk to y'all later.